Welcome, Grade 11s. In this lesson, we will firstly be focusing on organizing our data by means of using tables, and then secondly, looking into grouped data. Data is usually organized into frequency tables. This makes it easier to analyze and to represent in graphs. A frequency table lists items and uses tally marks to record the number of times an item occurs. Each mark in the tally column indicates one occurrence. The fifth mark is drawn through the other four marks to make the groups of tallies easy to count. If we look at the blue cars, we can quickly see that there are two groups of five tallies and three extra tallies coming to a total of 13. If we were collating the responses for a questionnaire, we would draw up a tally table for every multiple choice question. Let's look at an example of this together. A group of students has distributed a questionnaire to a sample of students at their school. They are researching how many students drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. This is the questionnaire they handed out. It asks for the student's grade and if they drink or smoke. The group has made the decision to collect the results in separate grades. This will help them to see where most of the substance abuse is happening. We will look at their results for the sample in grade 11. From the tally table, we can see that 16 out of 40 grade 11s drink alcohol. We know that 40 were interviewed because 16 plus 24 is 40. The group put this data into a contingency or two-way table to compare the genders of the students to their use of alcohol. Now we can see that only 5 out of 14 females in grade 11 drink alcohol. We can also see that 15 out of 26 grade 11 males don't drink alcohol. This method of organizing the data makes it far easier to analyze the data. Let's use this table to calculate the percentage of the students who drink alcohol. From the table we can see that there are 5 females who drink and there are 11 males who drink. Altogether, 16 students out of the class drink. So 16 divided by 40 multiplied by 100 gives 40%. This means that 40% of the sample group admits to drinking. So 60% of the class does not drink alcohol. Occasionally, there are too many sets of data to put onto a frequency distribution table. When this happens, we need to group that data. Here is a frequency table that has grouped the test scores of a class. We can see that there are three people who scored between 20 and 39% for their test. We don't know their individual marks as this would take too long to list. The frequency table does give a general idea of how the class performed in the test. Let's look at some of the main things to remember when grouping data. Data is grouped according to intervals called class intervals. Each interval is the same size. A number cannot be included in two different intervals. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Working with Data Handling task video. You will also be able to learn more about data handling on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.